Hey guys, hope you're all having a great week so far. So today I have a quick and easy makeup and hair tutorial for all of you back to schoolers. A lot of you guys have asked me to put together a couple back to school videos and I know a lot of you guys are back in school already, but I figure you guys are in school for nine months, right? So I'm sure at some point you might be able to find this useful. So I just wanted to put together something really fast and easy since I know when I was in high school and in college, I would get up late sometimes and only had maybe like 15 minutes to get ready for school. So um, this is just something that is gonna help you guys look a little more awake in the morning and just give your face a little bit of color when you only have like 15 minutes to get ready for school. Also, I wanted to make sure to use a lot of products that are student budget friendly. So I really hope that you guys find this video helpful and let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start out by moisturizing our face. I'm using Olay Henriksen's Sheer Transformation. You guys can pretty much use whichever moisturizer you would like, but I highly recommend using a moisturizer since you guys have young, fresh faces that you wanna keep looking young for as long as you can. Next, we want to protect our faces with some sunscreen, especially because, you know, you're going from class to class and PE and all that, so you definitely want to block any harmful sun rays. I'm using this one because it actually is like oil-free, so I really like it because it doesn't make me all shiny and stuff. Uh. So next we're going to want to conceal those dark under eyes from those late study nights. I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I'm just going to dab a little bit of that, blend it in. And then over that I'm just going to apply my Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer um, very lightly also just because we don't want anything to look too cakey and we're also in a hurry so we don't have time to blend out a bunch of concealer. Alright guys, so to even out the rest of my face, I am using the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in the color medium. Um, I had talked to you guys about this before, I am trying to give it a chance, so um, I just grab a little tiny bit like that and you can see that it's white right now, but you just rub it in a little and magically it turns into a color. I'm just going to work that into the rest of my face and as you can see it doesn't give too much coverage but it does give a slight bit more coverage than a tinted moisturizer would um, so it's just nice to kind of even out your skin tone and make everything look even. Alright, so moving on to the neutral eye, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Shimmering Sands Eyeshadow Trio and also my BH Cosmetics 28 color palette in the neutral eyeshadows. First, I'm going to set down a base for my eyeshadows using the NYX uh, Jumble Eye Pencil in Milk. And for the first eyeshadow, I'm using the middle shade from the Shimmering Sands Trio. And I'm just going to place that on the lid. Now for some added definition, I'm taking this light brown color from the BH Cosmetics Neutral Palette. I'm just going to place that in the crease area with a large fluffy brush. These brushes from Sigma are seriously my favorite brushes just because they're so affordable and they're actually really great quality. So I'll link some information down below and also include a coupon code. Next, I'm going to take this kind of darker purplish plum color and use that in the outer V corner. As you can tell I'm using pretty much all blending brushes because it applies the color while blending out and it makes it a much faster application. Then I'm just going to run that same dark purple color underneath my eyelash line. Taking the lightest color of the Shimmering Sands Trio, I'm going to place that in the inner corner. And this is great to just kind of brighten up the eyes and make you look a little more awake on those early mornings. Next I'm going to be lining my eyes with the Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner and this has a felt tip and it's so saturated that's why I like it for fast and easy application because it's so pigmented it doesn't really take a lot of effort to line your eyes and with the felt tip being so sturdy it kind of makes it a lot easier and not, not as messy as other eyeliners that are like liquidy and can tend to um, take a lot more um, preciseness. 
for my lower lash line, I'm taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Eye Smoldering Pencil and I'm just going to quickly line my lower lash line and then smudge that out with my fingertips. Then to amp up those lashes, just take two of your favorite mascaras. I'm using the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara as a kind of base and I really like this because it's waterproof so it kind of curls my lashes um, on its own so I don't have to use an eyelash curler. And then I love the Revlon Photo Ready just because it kind of really separates the lashes so nicely and it just really makes them look so amazing. Now a lot of you guys might not need this so if you don't just go ahead and skip this step but with age I think my eyebrows have kind of thinned out a little so I definitely need to fill them in slightly. Now to finish everything off, take a powder of your choice. I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm just going to place that over the BB cream that we placed earlier just to kind of set that in. For a little color to the cheeks, I am using my Wet n Wild blush in Mellow Vine. I'm just going to place that on the apples of my cheeks very lightly. Then sweep the excess on my chin, forehead, and nose. Now for the lips, I am using my Revlon Lip Butter in the color Peach Parfait. This is one of my favorite all-time everyday lip butters. I'm just going to put that all over and it's just such a pretty peach neutral color. Alright guys, so that completes the face look. Now that we look a little more alive and awake, let's move on to hair. So we're going to start out by parting our hair either down the middle or on the side. I personally like it on the side. Now just kind of separating the hair and grabbing like a one inch chunk from kind of like middle of the way down. I'm just going to make a braid and braid it all the way down to the end. Once you get to the bottom you want to secure it with an elastic little band but I didn't have one so I'm just going to grab it with my teeth. <laughs> Moving on to the next side, you're basically just going to do the exact same thing. Grab a chunk of hair kind of midway um, down your head and start braiding a normal braid. Now taking one of your braids, you're simply going to swoop it on over to the other side and secure those in with bobby pins to kind of create this little braided headband. Then take the other braid and swing it around to the other side so then you create like a double braid headband and again just secure them in with little bobby pins. And fix your hair however you would like. You can wear this with straightened hair or curled hair. Um, but it's just such a cute little detail to add to kind of normal blah hair. So this is the finished look, hair and makeup. It's just really nice and girly and something that you can totally do in like 15 minutes. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you tried it in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Bye!